Good afternoon, Rowena. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, Rowena, can you tell me about yourself? I'm Rowena Miguel. I'm 25. I'm married and I have a one daughter, ma'am. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Yes, ma'am. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to help my family to our finances, ma'am. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other countries? Because the time in Malaysia and Philippines are the same, ma'am. How are you qualified for this job? Because I'm kind, polite, and hardworking, ma'am. May I know what your educational level is? Undergraduate for college, ma'am. What is your recent working experience? I have no experience to work, ma'am, but I am willing to work in Malaysia as a maid, ma'am. Okay. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma'am. How about elderly? I have no experience, ma'am, but I'm willing to do, ma'am. Okay. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food, ma'am. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I mentioned to you, which do you like most? I'm sorry, ma'am. Can, can you repeat the question? Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I mentioned to you, which do yes. you like most? Yes, ma'am. Which do you like most? Cooking and cleaning, ma'am. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? My mother, ma'am. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, ma'am. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you yeah. agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics, your attitude? Hardworking, disciplined, respectful, industrious, ma'am. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Because I don't want to disappoint my employer, ma'am. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of, ma of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? Yes, ma'am. Like? Hospi hospital, ma'am. Okay. De dengue. 
when was that? Um, um, 2010, ma'am. 2010, okay. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defect? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? Yes, ma'am. Um, what operation was that and when? CS, ma'am. When I give birth my daughter, ma'am. When was that? 2014, ma'am. Okay. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you preferred to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Rowena, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully, okay? Yes, ma'am. Upon arrival in Malaysia, within six months only, you are staying here. If ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do? I will tell my parents that I can go home because my because I don't because I have because sorry because my contract is not finished yet and I will send money to them. Okay, so you will just tell them that you cannot um, go home and while telling that, you will just send money. Yes, ma'am. Okay, Rowena, kindly tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I'm hardworking, loyal, and I will I want to work in Malaysia to support my family and education of my child ma'am. Okay, what do you want to tell to your employer who are watching your video right now? Ma'am, please choose me because I'm hard working, loyal and I will Follow your rules and regulations, ma'am. Okay, Rowena. Thank you very much. Uh, we will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Yes, ma'am.